Tala Moana, warrior. In Path of Exile, High Sleek, Crackling Lance was released. Despite high hopes, its low damage and janky intensity gimmick left it underutilized. In Arch Nemesis League, Crackling Lance received massive buffs to its base damage, damage effectiveness, cast time, and a couple other factors that made the skill quite strong. Despite this, the skill did not get the love it deserves. In Calander League, a former trash unique, Rallakesh's Impatience was massively buffed to allow you to gain your maximum power, frenzy, and endurance charges while standing still. When do you stand still? While casting Crackling Lance, of course. With the Assassin Ascendancy, Avoid Battery and Malachi's Loop, and a few expensive tools, you can gain up to 15 power charges. With the Badge of the Brotherhood Unique Amulet, your maximum frenzy charges is equal to your maximum power charges. 33 charges is already broken on its own, but let's break the game. The Militant Faith Jewel opens access to three keystones. The one we want is called Inner Conviction. It gives you 3% more damage per power charge. Rallakesh's step does not grant charges, but sets your minimum to your maximum, so you still get frenzy charges. This is 45% more damage for free. We can gain another 30% more multiplier from Pain Attunement. Most lightning casters use Arc for its reliable clear, but it lacks single target damage. <laughs> Crackling Lance gives both, with up to 15% more damage per intensity. We use Storm's Gift Plus Impulses for pack clear. This is already ridiculous enough to clear all content. If you choose to do Ubers, you can swap to Surge Binders for another 200% increased damage. There is one auditorial downside to this build. Every time you move, you will hear the sound of charges expiring over 30 times. This can be annoying for some. Enough talk, let's see a montage.